Hello. Hi, is this Christina? Uh, yes, it is. Who is this? Hi, Christina. Good morning. My name is Fred. I'm calling from the uh, the Fred Show, the morning radio show, and I have to tell you that we are on the radio right now, and I would need your permission to continue with the call. Is it okay if we chat for a second? <laughs> No way. Um, yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, no way, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Uh, but, but no way it was no way it was more of like a <laughs> like a fleeting comment, and so it's actually a yes. It is yes. Sorry, I just, it I is just a be, yes. I just want to be clear. Crazy okay. to hear from you. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. Oh wow. Um, it, it's it's crazy to hear from you, Christina. It really is. Even though I called you. Uh, what's going on with this guy, uh, Jared, who you met? Because he reached out to us, a guy named Jared. Uh, he says he met you on one of the dating apps, and you guys went out. Do, I, I assume you remember meeting him. Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, I sure do. Okay, I so, sure do. So there's a story here. Obviously, what happened? Because he called us, seemed like a nice enough guy. Uh, said he enjoyed meeting you, wanted to see you again. He thinks you're ghosting him. Uh, are you, and why? Okay. Um, yes. This is crazy. So um, I, I, I don't know all of what he told you, but we met on the app. Um, and I, don't know, I, was, I was really excited to meet him. We, we went out for drinks. We had a really great time. Um, I felt safe enough to go back to his house. And, um, you know, we were just there and we were talking and hanging out. Um, honestly, we were just having a really good time. Like, really, really great vibes. But then randomly I had mentioned something about my phone because my stupid battery keeps dying like way too quickly. And out of nowhere, he was like, oh, hey, I've got this phone that you could use. And I was like, okay, cool, whatever. And then he went into the other room and he brought back this huge bag of stolen phones. And he was like, "Here, you can take one of these." And okay, now hold on. Wow. No, no, first of all, I don't know. If, I don't know if, he, if, if he's aware of this, but when your phone runs out of battery, you can charge it. You don't have to throw it away. Uh, the other thing is, how do you know they were stolen? Did he say to you, "Like, I got all these stolen phones"? <laughs> well, so here's the thing: is that like I politely decline, and that's when I asked about the stolen phones. Like, why do you have a bag full of boners? You, or boners? <laughs> wait a minute. What? Wait. wait no, I'm okay. Whoa, whoa. Okay, what? Why do you have a bag full of burners? Oh. I, I've watched a lot of Breaking Bad. <laughs> Jason, I really just got his attention, but right, that's not a what bag I... bag of boners? Yeah, why do you have a bag full of phones <laughs> if you're not a drug dealer? Right? Is that the question? So, or a criminal yes. of some kind? Yeah. <laughs> It was crazy. He said that he would steal them during festival season because everyone's drunk and oh, not paying attention. So and like specifically was like, hey, it's not my problem if people are too drunk to notice what's going on. No, it's still Which, a crime. Uh, um, so Jared's well, one of those like, jackasses that steals phones at Lollapalooza and wherever else. Yeah, I mean... First of all, and that's all, and that's its own red flag because, like, I felt safe enough to go back to his house, and and we had been drinking, so now I don't know that that for me just like red flag and wanted to leave. Check, check your, your purse. No, check your purse. I was gonna say, <laughs> right? Are you missing anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me bring. Uh, but, hold on one second. Let me bring Jared in. I, I I I can't let this guy sit quiet anymore, and I'm surprised that you're so quiet. But Jared is here. He's a criminal. Uh, Christina, you know Jared the criminal. Jared, why are we? What? First of all, why? Whose phone are you on right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where are you? Are you in jail? Where are you? First, it, it's it's my phone. I'm on my phone. Well, and it's your I phone don't now. Steal, I don't. <laughs> I don't steal phones. I am. I'm. I'm like. I'm like a human lost and found. People lose. Well, you're like a collector of down. other I people's things. They yeah, come that's what I'm saying. Give it back. Given back more phones than I have. I've given back more phones than, than, than I have because people lose them at these festivals and then they get their, you their little, them when you uh, take them. Right. Find, find my phone app and they contact me and I give them back. Okay. Why don't you just turn it into the festival people? Or even though you're stealing these things as a former criminal myself, like, <laughs> yeah. why are you yeah. collecting them? Like, Oh, you should be yeah. flipping them. You should be yeah, selling Rufio, them. Rufio is offended by this business model. Okay, yeah. like, you're just not doing it right. Okay, it's like you have a display case of like this is a this is a Samsung 13. I got every year. Like, what are you doing you over here? You are a crappy criminal, Jared. Is what it <laughs> why? Yeah. Why? Okay. If you're out here doing good, supposedly, then why do you have a bag full of them? And why are you giving them away? Well, just in case people get them back. Want to get them back? You but know this what I mean. Isn't like having an extra toothbrush in the house. Right, right. Just mind your own business. You know, you know, 
Yeah. You know, this is getting a little, this is gotten, starting to get a little bit dangerous now. Oh. What, like, now? I don't want to get. I mean, it was dangerous the moment you called like, us not, on I'm the not. stolen phone. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. right. Okay. It's been I'm long enough that authorities ahead. are tracing this right now. They're going to come to your house and mm. take, oh, he hung up. I was kidding, but he hung up. I don't blame no, him. No, he did right. not, did he? Yeah, he really did, actually. Oh, uh, my God. Okay. Well, so, Christina, you went out with a criminal. Right. I get that. I mean, not knowing. I can see how you know, I mean, somebody comes over to your house and they're like, uh, I don't know, can I borrow, so- I don't know what, something, or do you have an extra something? Like, okay, but I'm not, oh, you lost your phone? We could plug it in, or, or you know what, yeah. forget about that. Yeah, just a, sorry, just a charger. I don't know. Also, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this, but I've had my phone stolen before. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's the worst. It is an absolute nightmare. Like, everything now is on your phone. I would rather lose my wallet than lose my phone. No, 100%. It's the worst. It's expensive. Mm-hmm. We rely upon it. And this dude's just, well, anyway. Did you, did you take the phone? Do you have a backup now or no? Did you leave it behind? <laughs> no. I mean, I have, thank goodness, I have my own phone and was able to leave with that phone. Yeah, you so, don't want to check your credit and your okay. identity and everything. Yeah, truly. Like, oh, your battery keeps dying a lot. I don't want to steal this. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> this is not a stealable phone. It sounds like you need to get it worked on first. and then <laughs> Maybe <laughs> on a third date. Yeah, why don't you take it to a Mac Genius and then we'll go out again and then <laughs> make sure the warranty's good on it. Oh, my God. Uh, Christina, I'm sorry. And, and thank you so much for taking the call. Um, I understand why you didn't want to hang out with this guy, but uh, we wish you the best. 